Mind Catchers channel. Today I'm going to do some of my holiday reds and berry lipsticks. I've been holding them for a long time. I did the nude lipsticks. I did the purple lipsticks. I did the pink lipsticks for breast cancer awareness. Um, so now I decided to go ahead, since we're in the holiday season, to go ahead and start doing my reds. So these are reds and berries that I have accumulated over, you know, with the past year. Maybe a few of them I've had a little longer than a year. But I like them and, you know, they make your lips look, you know. Plus, they make your teeth look super, super white. I love reds. Alright guys, so the lipstick that I have on my lips right now is the Ulta Lip Cream. This is a matte lip cream. It goes on wet, dries down to a matte finish. It's in the shade Passionate looks like that right there has that doe foot applicator and everything super soft going on it feels just like the um nyx soft cream lipsticks if you guys are familiar with those and because this is such a bright red i mean if you want super red like blood red actually this is a little brighter than i would say a blood red this is it's almost like stop sign red. That's what I want to say, stop sign red. But anyway, because it was so red, I decided to dye it down a little bit with this uh, pencil. It's a lip base from Sigma. You guys saw it in my Stone MAC lipstick uh, video. This is called Rhapsody, and it's a lip base. Kind of puts you in the mind of Night Moth or something like that. So I just put it around the corners, kind of deepen up that red a little bit. But that red is... I mean brighter than my shirt it's super red okay and I love it because it does not move so I'm just gonna go ahead and go through some of these others some I'll swatch on my hand if I feel like they're similar colors and then others I'll put on my lips for you guys okay so let's take this off and let's go on to the next lippy all right guys this next berry shade that you see right here is called black metal dahlia and it is from uh, OCC Lip Tar Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. Every time I put this on, I think the last time I wore this was possibly last holiday season. Everybody, no, 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 no. I, I wore this in a collab with Miss Vanity. How are you, Miss Vanity? But anyway, I wore this. Everybody wanted to know what it was. It's a metallic berry shade. It's vampy. It's beautiful. You can pair it with um, Max Night Moth and of course, when you put your little concealer around your lips and allow it to really set in and dry, it is gorgeous. Beautiful shade. I would really suggest these lip tars. Um, I, ha I have about four of them, but this one and it's one other one, a purple one that I have that everybody goes crazy about. Guys, try them out. You don't need much. They suggest that you use a lip uh, brush with these and you can just put a dot on your um, hand or on your tray and just work it onto the lip This will last you forever. It also has like that minty fresh scent So it you know masks your breath and all of that good stuff as well So it's beautiful and that is black metal Dahlia all right guys, all my bright lipstick lovers, this is from CoverGirl. This is the Queen Collection number Q510. It's called Into the Red. This, all of their lipstick, I never really played around with their lipsticks too much until recently. All of the Queen Collection lipsticks that I have are absolutely breathtaking. They're beautiful and they sit on the lips so nicely once they're on the lips they don't move i think i might have another favorite drugstore brand because i really like milani but the covergirl uh queen collection lipsticks are very nice so this is into the red it does have a little bit of like a sparkle or a sheen in it not quite sure how to explain it it's, it's like a little sheen over it almost like a golden sheen so it takes it to that orangey like that borderline between orange and red but it's a very pretty color especially if you line your lips with a little brown or if you want to take it down a bit with a little night moth or current or um you know a deeper brown lipstick i'm sorry lip pencil but this is beautiful again if you have a chance to go to your drugstore and check out the queen collection lipsticks all of them 
all of them are very nice so that's into the red lovelies this is another one that i really like this was gifted to me by one of my sisters here on the yt this is called divine wine it's by maybelline so i really do need to broaden my horizons a bit this is number 695 and the reason why i say broaden my horizons a bit is because i've really been sticking with one drugstore lipstick but people or let me not say people other companies are really stepping up to the plate and coming out with some nice uh, formulas and some nice shades so this formula is nice this is a matte but it leaves your lips so soft it, it doesn't uh, it's not a sticky matte that makes you feel like Ugh, I can't wait to take this off this is a nice one so try out the Maybelline mattes you may just like these very nice again that is divine wine right, very another nice. one that I've mentioned in a lot of videos so I'm not gonna swatch it on my lips but I'll swatch it here on my hand this is matte confident and this one is from milani and you guys know i love milani did all of their swatches for their matte collection it's beautiful it's that ruby woo type red makes your teeth look super bright and pretty really like that one so if you're looking for a nice red for the holidays try out matte Confidence. Right, here's another drugstore favorite of mine this is from black opal and they do lipsticks very well as well i especially like their uh patent lip glosses they feel like a thicker lipstick it's um no not a thicker lipstick a thicker gloss but anyway they do stay put once you line your lips and everything but look at that glossiness look how pretty that is i love these and they have so many colors of this so if you're looking for something that's kind of like borderline between lipstick and lip gloss try the black opal patent lips that's what they're called they're a little thicker and wider in the container than the uh, lip glosses they have the doe foot applicator as well but it's beautiful they have your browns your golds all types of shades and i've done a swatch video on some of these before and i'll link all of my lipstick swatch videos down below so you guys should just go swatch that's crazy today but it is beautiful this is screaming holidays all right guys last but not least is this itty bitty teeny weeny lipstick right here this is from stowaway and i'm really loving this scarlet this is scarlet from stowaway i did a, a review on their little tiny lipsticks this red is very good and it smells so good and it feels very good on the lips and the rest of these uh, colors, I do have so many reds, but I just basically broke it down to the reds that I possibly wear the most. It's some reds that, you know, you go through your makeup bag and you'll find it and then you're just like, oh, I'm going to put that on today. But these are the reds that are like right here that I reach for the most. And that's why I decided to share it with you because I use them the most. Uh, also, berry colors. And let me stop saying just reds because there was some berry colors in there too. Some wines and things like that. But I also wanted to give some honorable mentions to some uh, pencils. I have a MAC pencil called Kiss Me Quick. And that, I'm trying to get a good swatch for you. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's right up there. Yeah, right there. A nice red pencil and you know your mac lip pencils glide on so nicely also a nice pencil from la colors yeah this one i use a lot it's called forever red and it's more of a cherry red i swatched it right underneath there right there's a cherry red so it looks great with cherry picking from wet and wild i do have that one over there somewhere that pinkish reddish tone i love nyc that. i know we probably pass by nyc a lot in the store you never really pick it up but they do have some nice products from nyc i love their liquid liner the black liquid liner is about a dollar 99 but it's awesome and this color they have their twist up uh city proof twistable crayons this one is in south berry fairy and I remember doing a video using that. That's that big swatch at the bottom. Everybody was asking me what color that was. That's NYC. It couldn't be any more than $1.99. And I might have gotten that on sale. So that's another good one. Also, Ruby Kisses. Remember the lip lacquers? I have lip lacquers in like all the colors. Even yellow. This one is in Sexy Red. And the reason why I didn't swatch this one, it is bold and like, wow. All of their colors are crazy. But it's right down there. If that's your forte, then you go for it. But it's right here. 
that's an honorable mention and of course you guys have seen current lip liner you guys have seen uh, night moth lip liner all of those are colors that I would use to dye down or to pick up that red or give you that night because when you're wearing a red lipstick you want it to look like pow like that Marilyn Monroe come hither lip you want to go around your lips with your concealer and really make your pout stand out so those are just some shades that I wanted to share with you guys. If you have some favorite reds that I did not mention, even in my, uh, you know, my honorable mentions rather, please leave them below, share them with us. I love using that comment section for other people to help people. You have been doing that and I appreciate that guys. Keep it going. Um, like I said, if you have other shades that you would like to see or other shades that you want to share with people, even if it's not a red, share it down below. Again, I'm going to have all of my lipstick swatch videos, all of them, lipstick and glosses will be in the description box so you guys can see. All right, that's it. Cyber kisses and see you guys in the next video. Bye.